Good evening. I wanted to commend two books to you this evening. The first being the Bible, God's Word. And I want to read to you from Luke chapter 18, verses 9 through 14, if you want to follow along in your Bibles. The second book I want to commend to you is The Discipline of Grace by Jerry Bridges. Subtitle being God's Role and Our Role in the Pursuit of Holiness. He has a chapter which he calls Preach the Gospel to Yourself. He talks about how we receive the gospel and are saved. And if we're not careful, if we don't continue to put the gospel, the good news of what God has done for us in the person and works of Jesus Christ, in front of us every day, we'll fall into a strict performance mode whereby we fall into this attitude of, of earning our points with God. And he talks about how the gospel must be before us every day. So I want to read Luke 18, verses 9 through 14. It's a passage that I keep coming back to almost daily in my mind. He also told this parable to some who trusted in themselves that they were righteous and treated others with contempt. So here's Jesus' words. Two men went up into the temple to pray, one a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. The Pharisee, standing by himself, prayed thus, God, I thank you that I am not like other men, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week. I give tithes of all that I get. But the tax collector, standing far off, would not even lift up his eyes to heaven, but beat his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, the sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, but the one who humbles himself will be exalted. Ran across a great quote in this chapter 3, Preach the Gospel to Yourself, about faith. And I want to encourage you to live out the gospel every day. Jerry Bridges says this, Faith is the hand by which the righteousness of Christ is received. Faith is the hand by which the righteousness of Christ is received. Faith itself has no merit. In fact, by its nature, it is self-emptying. It involves our complete renunciation of any confidence in our own righteousness and a relying entirely on the perfect righteousness and death of Jesus Christ. Would you pray with me this evening? Gracious God, as we, as a family, as a body of believers, embark on this time of prayer together tonight, we pray that you'd put again before us the beauty and the perfection and the good news of salvation by grace alone, through faith alone, and the finished work of Jesus Christ alone. Help us to, to wear the righteous robes of Christ every day and to put on, as it were, the gospel and to, to just start from this core. God, be merciful to me, the sinner, recognizing that we are, as Luther put it, simul justus et peccator. We are at the same time righteous and sinner. We're still struggling with sin, but we have been declared righteous in the, in the sight of God via the, the righteousness of Christ, and we are actually being made more righteous every day through sanctification and in the power of the Spirit. Lord, thank you. Guide us as we pray together. In Jesus' name, amen. May the grace of God sustain you through another week. God bless.